welcome to another video. My name is Mel Lee Dunn and I'm going to talk to you about another thing in the print design industry. I have these cool flowers, pretty cool set dressing because it's fall and these are fall colors. I don't have pumpkin coffee right now because it's like 11 o'clock at night, but I will have pumpkin coffee tomorrow. So my original plan was to make my next video about laying out the artwork and the template since in the last video we learned how to read a package template. But then something that I ordered kind of was messed up. I like Pusheen, the cat. I even brought for this video a little Pusheen figure. It's a little bunny Pusheen. It's got a tail on his raincoat. I'm gonna put her over here. I always call Pusheen a he because my cat is a boy and Pusheen's a girl. So Pusheen's gonna sit right there in the flowers for this video because this video is kind of Pusheen themed the way that it happened. So I ordered a surprise pack from the Pusheen Corp website which was a really really cool idea on their part. It seems like what it is is just a mystery bundle of stock that they're trying to move out of their warehouses so that they can make room for new stock of new merchandise that they're making. But one of the things I got is this cup. It says the first cappuccino, which is a cute little play on. And little like cat coffee the words it's cute so yeah i got this cup and i thought it was super cute and i would actually use it so i went to go wash it it kind of came into pieces not really sure if you can see it well in the camera but there's a little hole in the bottom so when i put water in water filled up in the walls and However, this was sealed, popped off, and the insert's a little ruined, but this isn't a video to bash on Pusheen. I emailed their customer support and they helped correct this problem, so they're a very good company in that way. They care about their customer satisfaction, but I felt like where I'm not going to have this cute cup to use anymore, I could use this cute cup to explain what this product is and how it's assembled. So this cup is pretty standard. And if you work for a company that wants to feature drinkware on the go kind of products, you're going to likely work on one of these in some form. You might have a different lid, but it's it'll all be the same thing. And different companies call things different names like some companies might call this a Starbucks cup, even though Starbucks is its own thing. This could be called a travel tumbler, a travel mug, but it's basically just a double wall cup with insulation. So getting rid of the lid, so we can just look at the cup. You have two pieces. This is an outer cup and an inner cup. Outer cup is usually clear, I have seen it made colored on in the past, which is a little ridiculous if you want to put an insert in it, because if this is blue, for instance, and you put this in the way that color works, this color of this plastic is now going to overlay on this insert. So you're gonna have blue mixing with these this color. So that's generally why they're clear outer cups. But your inner cup, generally, you can change to any color you want. This is a solid color inner cup. They also can come in a transparent color. So it could be like a transparent red, it could be a transparent yellow, like whatever your heart desires. And then, you have your insert, which this is a paper insert for this cup I ended up getting, but you can also have clear plastic insert. 
So then when you wrap your insert around your inner cup, and then you put your inner cup and insert in, and then however it's sealed, this one feels like it was screwed, and then there was probably some adhesive that came off or just wasn't put. But when it's fused, you can a cute little travel cup. The whole point of this product is, with the two cups, your liquid will go in this one, and then this one will sit in this one, and this creates like a, a seal. So if this is housing cold liquid, it will stay cold. If it's housing hot liquid, it will stay hot. And then you have like a cute little on the go thing. They come in different shapes. So like the Pusheen box I got, I also got this one. And you can see while they're similar, the lids are different. This one has a little lip on the lid. But it's the same thing. Got a little slidey lid. This one's, this one's actually good, so it's not broken for me to pull apart and show, but you can see there's a double wall in there, if you can see it. This is just a clear double wall, so it's a little hard to see. When you put your liquid in, I'll put my fist in. It'll change colors. Or I can push the pushing insert. Let's see. What's transparent will show a color through. So they're generally hand wash only because they're plastic and plastic will melt under extreme heat. The one that broke doesn't have a stamping that says that. It probably had a sticker, but this one, I don't know if you can see it well, I'll probably put a picture. But this one, there's a stamping that says hand wash only. And yeah, so that's pretty much with this cup. You, when setting up the design for this, you essentially just call out your inner cup color, your lid color, and you lay out artwork in a die line that works for this. You do it to keep in mind the curve. So like, this is flat when you lay it out, but then when this curves, your art curves and like this text will curve, the character will like bow. It's kind of funny though because they just left their text straight. <laughs> Usually you put like an arc on text, but it kind of works because it's at the center of the curve. The butt first works, the cappuccino doesn't really work. So I guess do better pushing <laughs> and make your text work. But yeah, so that's pretty much it with this. Like the most of the design is just picking the cup and lid colors and then laying out artwork in this. So a little disappointing that I don't get this pushing cup, but I have this one, which is really, I think this one's cuter, honestly. I took this one on our trip we went up to Pennsylvania and I used it camping style to make coffee. So yeah, that's a double wall insulated travel cup. Um, so next time I will have a video about laying out artwork in the package dye line that we went over in the previous video. But I hope that this was a fun video for you to watch and see how a product is assembled. Cause I mean, it's different seeing this on the shelf and then seeing the pieces. And I feel just as like a product designer, it always helps to know how a product is made from scratch and put together for me to be able to do the artwork in it efficiently. If you like this video, please like it. And if you'd want to keep up to date to see more videos like this in the print, design industry, please subscribe so you don't miss any. And if you have any questions or you want 
to recommend a product I could destroy and show you what it looks like, please leave it in the comments below. Come on, Pushy. Pushy's actually gonna go back to my desk. Yeah.